Throughout history, each culture has developed its own style of singing and its own musical instruments. Early Western music included chanting as part of Christian church worship. This plain chant, as it was called, had just one melody and all the singers sang the same notes. In the Middle Ages, European musicians developed a new church music. Singers sang different parts with several melodies combining. The new music was called polyphony and it needed to be written down in a special way using musical notes like those we use today. During the Renaissance, music developed still further. Melodies were laid one on top of the other in flowing rhythms. This was called counterpoint. Church musicians still led the way. By the 1500s, instrumental groups had begun to develop as small orchestras with several kinds of musical instruments. Musicians played for the entertainment of rulers. Music was moving from the church to the court. The Baroque period, from about 1600 to 1750, saw stringed and keyboard instruments becoming popular. Dancers enjoyed stately court dances, and opera and ballet began to develop at this time. By the 18th century, composers were writing music with a single strong melody. As music grew more complex, it needed an orchestra with more instruments. Small chamber orchestras could still play in people's homes, but the age of the concert hall was beginning. The Romantic composers of the 19th century wrote music that expressed intense personal emotions, told stories, or imitated nature. Audiences applauded the brilliance of solo performers such as Chopin and Liszt on piano. As the 19th century ended, the order of so-called classical music with its ornate pictures and sound was challenged. Composers moved on exploring the new styles. Some rejected the old musical forms altogether and introduced dramatic new rhythms and experiments with harmony. A new vibrant force in music comes from America in the early 1900s. This was jazz, which had its roots in African music. The jazz age swept the world. Radio and records made music available to more and more people. In the 1950s, there was a new craze, rock music. Elvis Presley was the first rock superstar whose musical roots were in American country music. Rock stars became worldwide celebrities. Jimi Hendrix was a fantastic rock guitarist. Bob Marley introduced Caribbean music to an international audience. Madonna is one of the superstars of the 1980s and 1990s. Music, and particularly pop music, is a truly international art form. Musical styles and traditions from many countries are fusing to create the music of tomorrow.